Today we'll be working on a two-stroke carburetor out of a snowmobile. It's a, a Makuni carburetor made in Japan. Uh, we'll be taking it apart, cleaning it out, and hopefully getting the engine to work. So uh, stay tuned and we'll show you what to do. First thing we're going to do is to take off the, the rubber lines going into it. Um, you're going to have breather hoses on either side here. Uh, this one, they were all hard and crumbled off. so. I'm not going to show that, but for these other ones like this, the fuel line, this one popped off real easy, but if you're having a hard time with it, what you can do is take a screwdriver, get in behind, and push it off like, like that, and that makes it a lot easier to get off. So now we're just going to go ahead and clean it up with some car cleaner, going to give it a, a good spray, just the whole thing, so nothing gets inside when we take it apart, and uh, so I'm going to do that, and then I'll be right back. Your first step when you're going to take, care, take apart the carb itself is there's four screws on the bottom. Two of them are already removed. We're just going to go ahead and take the other two apart. It helps to have a magnetic tray in the area where you're working so you don't lose the little parts. Now the little uh, bowl part just comes out like that, revealing your floats, and then you have um, your jets. This is what uh, the floats push on to stop the fuel and whatnot. Your main jet's up in there, and then you have a couple small ones down there. Sometimes when you take these apart, this gasket will be all ripped. Luckily this one isn't. I'm not going to bother trying to take it off because it'll probably just rip it. But from here, we're just going to clean out this bowl, and then we're probably going to go ahead and take out all the jets and whatnot and clean out all that. And uh, hopefully after that, it'll be all set. You could also take apart the uh, throttle mechanism on the carburetor. The top just screws off. Sometimes it's kind of tight. This one was fairly easy. And it's just about there. And it pops out. And that's what your throttle looks like. You can just set apart that to the side. Now, when you're doing this, make sure you keep track of what, where you took things apart from, how you took them apart, and the orientation. Otherwise, you could mess some things up. Now, the floats, they just kind of fall out like that. Fairly simple. They might be a little bit stuck. You could probably take some car cleaner and brush it in there. What I'm just going to do now is fill up the bowl a little bit with some car cleaner. Let it soak in a little bit. Then I'm just going to brush it out. You could probably uh, slosh it around a little bit. It probably helps up. After you, like, after you do that for a couple minutes and you just take your brush, you try to brush it up, probably break up as much as you can in there, then you just kind of find a nice spot to dump it out. And that's mostly all set. You could probably also then and uh, actually clean the floats off. So, you know, same thing, a little carb cleaner, a little brush. <clears throat> Make sure they dry them off nice. Put them off to the side. Uh, your next step is going to be take apart the insides of the carburetor. Your first step is going to be to uh, first remove the float lever. The pin just kind of pries out like that. It's fairly simple. And from here, you want to take a nice size socket or maybe pliers if you don't have one. Take apart the main jet. And you could also take apart the uh, little push pin thing right here. As it turns out, the main jet is a 6 millimeter socket. It's nice and loose. So you can just probably take it off your fingers. Make sure you keep track of how that goes back together. If you don't, it won't go back together right. <laughs> Next is this part over here. I already loosened it up, so you should come out with your fingers. Comes off like that. <clears throat> This is probably part. This is probably one of the parts that's going to be blocked since the hole is so small. The main jet is usually fairly big, so it's not usually going to be clogged. It's going to be these little ones that are like this, or the ones up in here that end up getting clogged. To in order to uh, actually clean these parts out, what I'm going to do is take my carburetor cleaner, and I'm going to actually spray it up into the holes and through all the jets to blow anything that's in there out. Hopefully, that'll clean it out. This 
is how I'm cleaning out the jets. It's literally just a hole through a, a piece of like a piece of brass. Just take a thing in there and square it through. This is what I'm doing to all the all the uh, parts, like all the stuff. This thing. All right, so we're gonna take the uh, adjustment needle out uh, on the carburetor. Uh, you can see it's right in here. Uh, what you're gonna do to take that out is to screw it in all the way until it hits the bottom. Count the amount of turns it takes until it bottoms out. Don't put too much pressure on it because you don't want to damage it. Just with gentle pressure until it stops turning. Count the turns. This one was two and an eighth. Then take it all the way out and clean out the inside with carb cleaner. So now that we're getting the, the adjustment needle out, as you can see here it is. Spray it down with carb cleaner. Clean it out a little bit with the toothbrush here after we put the carb cleaner on it. Set it down to dry. There's also a spring inside uh, where the needle was. Take that, clean that out as well. Make sure not to lose any parts. Um, and also, I'm going to take the, the carb cleaner and clean out right inside here. I'll do that off camera because I don't want to get any on the camera. We're all set now with all the little vents, all the little jets are all nice and clean. Uh, we blew it out with air compressor to dry it out. Now we're ready for reassembly. That's how you rebuild the carburetor. Make sure you subscribe.